and welcome to Ball and Craig Estate. My name is Eddie and this is my blog. Today is January the 9th uh, and first thing I'll say is Happy New Year. So yeah, New Year's rolled around. It is, we're, we're back to work. It's all, it's all go here on the farm, especially up here, uh, which is where I'm brought you first. So this is where we've got the shed working and I've come up to have a look because... Uh, it's been cleared out. They've been hard at work here and wow look at that So this is this is our new space uh, That we're going to be turning into our grain store at uh, the moment I'm just sort of working out exactly where well We have got the plans and I've come up here to work out how it's gonna look um, Yeah, it's, it's gonna be a wonderful space this should be plenty of space to uh, to tip up and we may we may get uh, these doors moved slightly, but yeah, I think this is going to be an awesome space. Look at the size of it. That's just absolutely incredible. Really amazing. Uh, so all this stuff out here is being uh, picked up shortly. Uh, we've got our old dividers and things. We might use some of it. Some of it. Uh, some of this flooring will be useful down at the main farm. So we'll keep all that. But uh, yeah, in general, uh, it's coming out of here. And this is going to be a wonderful new space. I'm really looking forward to this. That is just absolutely gorgeous. And it's, it's going to make... Yeah, that's just going to be wonderful. The uh, the design we've got in here. Oh, are the lights working? Yeah, the lights are all working as well. Still, that's good. I don't know if the internal ones are. But certainly the external ones are still working. The internal ones, uh, maybe a bulb's gone. Uh, right, we're going to head back down to the farm because we do have to look after our cows today. And uh, we've got to feed the cows, we've got to feed the sheep. Uh, it may be winter and the farm may be, um, maybe not a lot going on. But uh, it's still, we still need to look after the animals. We still need to make sure that they are doing okay. So we head back down here and back to the main yard and sort them out. I don't think it's going to be an overly long vlog. We don't have a lot to do on the farm today uh, beyond that. So it's, it is the time of year where things are a little more relaxed around here. Right, I'm just going to park the landing over here. I've already got the tractor and the skid steer out. so I'm not too worried. There we go, so we've got our, we'll use our TW5 for this. We have, oh wow, we have quite a lot of cleaning up to do. Uh, we might do that first, actually. I'll move the, uh, the T-Dub out of the way. And go and put the bucket on the, uh, on the skid stick. Messy cows, though. Really messy cows. Skid steer's in here. There we go. Start her up and away we go. Wow, that's messy. Oh. So, yeah, we need to uh, we need to get the bucket to clean this up. So, we'll switch that around. I do love the maneuverability of this. This is this is one of the nicest things I've uh, that I've purchased from farmers that it's good stick. Really allows me to get everywhere I need to and want to get. It would be, uh, yeah, it just makes everything that much easier. Just to be able to, yeah, you know, sort of get in here and, and get into this stuff. This is a big pile of, um, hay we've got that's fallen out of the feeding trough. There we go. That's got them. And yeah, it's the fact that I can get it 90 degrees on and then we can just empty into the trough. Whoa. Should be able to empty into the trough. I haven't. Lift it up. Oh. four-wheel drive turned on. Yeah, I wonder why that missed. 
We have that issue sometimes. This. You can see from the mess that we've made. At various points. I had to get something in here to clean that up at some point. Right. Uh, I think then we can go and drop the bucket off this. And, uh, and get our nice bell spike. And give the cow some feed. Uh, and then hopefully... Oh, actually, before I drop this off, thinking about it, the sheep need cleaning out as well. So might as well use our bucket and clean the sheep out. And then once that's done, we can drop the bucket off the front. The sheep actually are alright for food at the moment, so I'm not going to worry too much about them. We will need some more feed, but not quite yet by the looks of it, I think. This will clean them up nicely. There we go. Alright, that keeps the sheep clean. Whoa! Caught on the uh, fencing then. Not good. Not good for the fencing. The, uh, the skid still will be able to handle it, right? Is that up? Right, now we're going to grab the bell spike. Try and avoid catching the landy with it. Actually, looking at this, we can turn this and put this along the wall. I'd like to put, I think I'd like to put some sort of shelving on. Um, we actually have space around here. We have a lot of space around here at the moment. The combine, of course, is still away having its overhaul. Uh, and, uh, and that shed there, of course, is currently empty as a result. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't quite know what I'm going to do. Part of me is tempted, actually, to, to cancel the work they're doing up the top and put the grain store in that space. But, to be honest, that would cost a lot of money right now. But it has been tempting. And basically, then just keep the combine and other equipment up the top end. Uh, I need to move my tea dump because it was in the wrong place now. Yep. The great thing about this gowl is it will actually pick up stuff uh, itself if I positioned it right. But uh, now, nah, well, well, what we're going to do, we're going to use the skid steer. The skid steer works wonderfully doing this. Right, we need to take one of these off here. Almost got through last year, uh, previous year's silage. You can tell where last season or last year's silage. So, yeah. Whoa! Oh, no. Oh, we're okay. Skid steer didn't go into reverse then. It was still stuck in forwards. That wasn't good. Wait. Right, let's go get this bale off here before I drop it. Uh, we need to give them a, uh, a straw bale as well. I think we're going to have to go and buy some straw. Which is part of the reason why I wanted to have... Um, part of the reason why I wanted to increase the arable aspect of the farm. Is we never seem to have enough straw. We, get, we end up costing money every year when we try and... Uh, just trying to keep our heads above water as far as uh, straw goes, uh, you know, on its own. So, um, yeah, having a couple of fields full of wheat next year will be good. And also, uh, you know, having a different crop as well. I think we may end up buying a few more fields. I have a, I have a, something I can't really discuss at the moment uh, in the pipeline that may help with uh, expanding the farm a bit come New Year. 
I hope to have, be able to talk more about it in the near future. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll be able to talk about it in the next, uh, next vlog, but this one, unfortunately, I can't. It's all still very up in the air, but it would uh, it would be big news for the farm if it, if it does happen. So uh, as soon as I know, I will let you guys know. Right, there we go. That's that done. Right, let's oh, jump back in. This one I call locked. Right, first it up. And there we go, feeding our cows. See you excited by it? Certainly. There we go. That will do them. Right, we need to give them some straw as well. So I'm just going to park the tractor over here. Out of the way. And we'll jump back in the skid stick. And we'll go and grab straw belt. So you see you see the conundrum I've got. Is we got it to last till summer. We do not have enough straw bales. We don't have anywhere near enough straw bales. Look at how many uh, hay bales we created last year compared to how many straw bales. So I'm going to have to put an order in for straw bales. It's not money I want to spend, but it's money I think I'm going to need to spend just to, to keep us going. We, do, we you know, really, realistically, we do not have enough. Right, let's... Open this door. Put some straw in for the cows as well. There we go. Right, that has got that done. So that's good news. Now, I think both the cows and the sheep need some water. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go and park this back up in this barn. I'll just Plunk this in here. Like so. And uh, yeah. Jump into here. We need to park this up uh, in such a way that it's not going to be in our way for this next job. So we do have some equipment, but probably at this time of year, we've got snow shed um, forecast. So I should probably get some of this equipment undercover in the next couple of days and we do have the space to do it at the moment so that would be good there we go hitch it right get the water on the back Up. Let's fill it now. Got the pump running. Yeah, I think we're going to replace this water bowser uh, come New Year. We're, we're looking at replacing a few bits of kit come the New Year. Uh, this water bowser, I think, is going to be one of them. I think we might get a three point uh, hitch mounted one. Uh, mainly because. While this field here is not any difficulty to do, uh, the sheep being the sheep, and uh, actually being pretty good, the cow's field is just so difficult for us to get the tractor into with this trailer on. It's not an easy job to do. And as a result, we end up uh, just trying to squeeze through and work our way through areas and ways that we can't. So our choices are either to uh, replace this bit of kit or um, uh, or widen the gates. I'm not. I'm not 100% sure about widening the gates. We are doing a lot of work already on the farm. Oh, 
Right, so that is water for the sheep. Let's see if we can give some to the cows, I think. Yeah, so next time we do have snow forecast. If snow happens, if we get snowfall, uh, what we will prob uh, what we'll be doing is we'll be clearing the local roads. So if that happens, if we do get snowfall, then uh, I will I will do that for a vlog because obviously that's a pretty important uh, job that we uh, or service that we provide around here. I think we're going to buy this field. I don't see why not. It would be perfect for us here, and I can uh, I can then rip out this fence, which just restricts. It. I mean that that would get rid of a, a huge restriction on us getting into this field, and we'll have a, we'll probably have an arable field there as well for it. I think increase the arable. Um, Possibilities on the farm a bit further. Oh, that's tight. Yeah, you see, this is this is this is why I'm considering getting rid of this water trailer. It is very big. I'm sure it holds a lot of water, but it's it's indicator. It's got no indicator on its stern line, so it's very difficult to tell how full we are. through the cows. Okay. There we go. Right. There we are. So that is emptying that out. Uh, I'm going to leave it here. Um, basically, that is uh, what we have to do on the farm today. The uh, it's, it's a quiet time of the year. Um, but I hope you've uh, enjoyed having a look at how the barn is coming along. I hope you've enjoyed uh, seeing the work with the cows and the sheep. Uh, and all that really remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this vlog. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from the farm, please subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.